these TikTok stars will stay behind bars. In this case, it was a, uh, a team effort. Since we first reported this story back in September, this popular social media couple was just convicted of murdering a 29-year-old man. We now know why authorities say they did it and the family members they took down with them. I'm Justin Carter. This is TSR Investigates Updates. This was a complex murder investigation. It was a, uh, a team effort. Said special agent in charge, Joe Montgomery of the Georgia Bureau of Investigations. When, a, when someone is killed and we don't know who has done this, we called a who done it. He says in the end, it came down to these four suspects, 18 year old Deja Collins, 26 year old Darius Woods, and 23 year olds, Jonte Collier and Eric Dodds, who are well known for their lives chronicled on social media about 800,000 followers on TikTok, and they do pretty well on OnlyFans. And you hurt somebody in our community, this team behind me, we are going to do everything that we can to ensure justice is done. August 1st, 2022, police were called to a mobile home in Rossville, Georgia, a small town near the Tennessee border. Inside, a lifeless 29-year-old Dakota Bradshaw. He was known for always having a smile on his face. He graduated near the top of his class in high school, and he was hoping to pursue a career in cybersecurity. Witnesses told police they heard gunshots and saw two distinct vehicles speed off shortly after the incident, a red pickup truck and a dark colored sports car that we now know is the focus of this case. It was a very nice car. It was a late model Dodge. Challenger. That's David Dunn, Jonte Collier's defense attorney, who spoke to the Shade Room exclusively. In court, he says that it was revealed that a man nicknamed Day Day was staying with Jonte and Eric at their home in Huntsville, Alabama. Day Day somehow stole the Dodge Charger that belongs to Collier. He admitted that he had stolen the property. Uh, he also admitted that he was a drug addict and that he had lied to the police on several occasions. But Day Day didn't know that there were two Apple Air tags placed in the vehicle. One was hidden, the other one was attached to the car keys. Day Day drove about 100 miles to that friend's house in Rossville, Georgia. Ultimately, John Pay and Eric were able to locate exactly where the vehicle is, uh, was parked, and to go to that location. And that's where the incidents occurred. They took that red pickup truck, this Dodge Ram seen here on social media, and located the car themselves. They brought along their family friend, Deja Collins, and Dodds' older brother, Darius Woods. Deja gets out and goes to the stolen vehicle. She has a duplicate set of keys. She gets in that vehicle, and she drives off in it. Prosecutors got Deja to testify in exchange for a lesser sentence. As she was leaving, she heard shots, but uh, neither she nor anyone else said they saw who fired the shots. Uh, one of the shots went through the mobile, well, they all went through the wall of the mobile home. One of them went through the wall, through a cabinet, and then hit uh, the young man inside in the chest, killing him. Bradshaw died a short time later. His girlfriend, who lived inside the home, wasn't harmed. There's no evidence or indicator even that he was in any way connected with Eric or John Tay. But the big question, who fired the shot? Dunn says that there was no evidence that his client ever fired, but the jury didn't buy it. I drove up to the Walker County Courthouse and got the official records. On May 23rd, 2023, John Tay Collier and Eric Dodds were both found guilty on two counts of felony murder, aggravated assault, and other weapons charges. Darius Woods faces the same charges, but has not been tried pending the outcome of a separate federal case against him out of state. The jury reached the verdict, which is not one that I agreed with, but that's their job, not mine. John is okay. I am okay, you guys. I'm okay. Everything is good. My baby will be home soon. He is not harmed. A soul, you guys. As we reported in our original TSR Investigates, this was the last in-person post from Dodds the day before he was arrested and charged. NJ is okay, and we'll be back together and back posting very soon. It's not going to happen anytime soon, although there has been some posts on TikTok 
thanking their supporters. This caption on April 2nd saying in part, quote, Unfortunately, we are not home yet due to a lot of lies and false information on a crime we did not commit. We are being mistreated and bashed on a daily because of our skin color and sexuality. And now we did reach out to to Dodds' defense team. We're still waiting to hear back, but both Dodds and Collier are expected to be sentenced June 29th. For TSR Investigates Updates, I'm Justin Carter. Hello roommates and thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Do you want more TSR Investigates? Be sure to subscribe and check us out at theshaderoom.com.